Hi guys, today I'm actually gonna be doing a video that I don't know why I have never done this video before. So it's actually gonna be my top 10, and actually I think there may be one or two more of my Dollar Tree DIY staples. As most of you know, I started this channel off for DIYs, but I do love to do other things on this channel too. I know a lot of you have been asking me for DIYs, and actually I have some that are coming, but I never thought to do a video like this for you guys before, and so here we go. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite Dollar Tree top 10 favorite DIY staples that I think is a must if you wanna do like Dollar Tree DIYs. There are amazing products in Dollar Tree to doing all kinds of DIYs, but these are just like my top 10 and ones that I've repeatedly used in the past. Also be sure to check the description box below and I'm going to link all of the DIYs that I've done in the past that associate to these items that I've purchased from Dollar Tree as well. So let's go ahead and start off at a bonus, which is number 11, which in case you're wondering, I'm looking at a list down here, but it's gonna be just this little section in the craft aisle where they have like moss and reindeer moss and they always have like twine and jute and maybe even rope. Those are amazing for DIYs. I've done some really cute ones and ones recently lately with um, using like moss and I used it for like a whitewashed clay pot farmhouse feel. Although I know I didn't technically whitewash them because I didn't add water to my paint. But regardless, moss is amazing to use. Dollar Tree typically always carries them. Of all the different Dollar Trees I've gone to, I always see them at almost every single store. So hopefully your store does carry these types of items. They've been carrying larger like twine that's more rope-like, which is amazing, which I also used in a DIY for my farmhouse bathroom. So go check out that video, but that is my number 11. Coming in at number 10 is gonna be clay pots. So I've only recently started getting into these and I think they're perfect for any kind of farmhouse decor and they come in different sizes, different shapes, different colors, which is fine because even if you don't get it for the color, you can easily spray paint pretty much anything. I don't know that I would recommend spray painting the actual clay pots, but those are easy as you saw in my other video for the farmhouse DIY, you can easily just grab some paint and whitewash it um, and it will just look stunning for farmhouse or paint it any color that you would choose. Coming in at number nine is gonna be fruit. Now I've been purchasing some lemons from the Dollar Tree and I love them just the way they are, but this is a great thing to purchase for DIYs because you can spray paint them if you want to, you can bejewel them, you can do all kinds of things to them and they will look stunning. I have some apples behind me, although these came from Hobby Lobby, but they're at Dollar Tree. But also don't forget that sometimes you get a better deal at other stores as well if you need to buy them in bulk because one single fruit is one dollar a dollar tree. Coming in at number eight is gonna be flowers. Now you guys have seen me do so many DIYs using Dollar Tree florals and I've done them for pretty much every season, every point of the year, spring and summer. I've done Halloween and fall and Christmas and 4th of July, which is coming up really soon and also Memorial Day. So I will link all of my 4th of July decor that can also serve for Memorial Day because Dollar Tree is putting out all of their Memorial 4th of July stuff, so definitely check out those videos. I absolutely love the flowers at Dollar Tree. They're stunning and I can't believe some of the variety that I've seen with them. And some of my favorites, I actually did like shabby chic DIYs, so I'll link those down below. Definitely give those another look because I think shabby chic is really beautiful. But I think floral is just a really beautiful way to do all kinds of different varieties of decorations and DIYs and they have beautiful flowers too that you can definitely do for farmhouse. Stay tuned because I have something coming. Coming in at number seven is just going to be plates, glass plates, because there's so much you can do with them. Um, you can definitely spray paint them. You can definitely put decals on them. I really haven't quite mastered how that works out from like dishwasher safe perspective. Um, I definitely have done DIYs in the past, especially my Christmas ones where I did plaid Christmas plates, obsessed. But really I pretty much use them as a 
charger, if you will, and not really something that we put food on top of and eat, but definitely keep that in consideration when you're doing any DIYs using plates and if you think you're gonna eat off of it. But I also use plates to then at number six coming in, which is my candlesticks. How many times have you guys just seen me haul these glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree? Like they're, they're amazing for so many DIYs and you guys have probably seen me do so many using these candlesticks. So of course I had to add them into my top 10. Coming in at number five is going to just be Dollar Tree books. I think I have done quite a few DIYs on my channel using Dollar Tree books or just really books in general that you have at home. And that's the other beauty is a lot of DIYs that you can do. You can just find things around your house, but Dollar Tree books come in handy too. And of course, you guys have seen me do book covers for Valentine's Day, which I put on this table back here. And I've used Dollar Tree gift bags to do covers. And so lots of things that you can do with Dollar Tree books. Coming in at number four, which I just mentioned, is Dollar Tree gift bags. I think gift bags are perfect for any kind of home decor DIY. As you just noticed I, when I talked about it, I've covered books, um, Dollar Tree books with gift bags, and it's just, you guys know how I love gift bags. And they're just one of my favorite things, and they come in so many different varieties, especially like the farmhouse feel, because they have like the white paper look, they have the brown paper sack look, and they have the navy and the red, which is really one of my favorites, is really the navy. The white, the brown paper bag, and the navy are probably my favorites, just because I feel like it really goes with my farmhouse, but they also have like an army green, it's really hard to kind of find that one, but when they have it, girl, I want it because it's one of my favorites. But I've also done other bags in the past where I like, I took the brown paper bag one and turned them into like little footballs. I will link a video of that in the description for you as well. Coming in at number three, you're gonna be mason jars. I, I, I feel like mason jars is just such a big deal now it's so trendy and i think it's been trendy for quite some time actually especially with this farmhouse wave like like mason jars are just a huge staple and you can do so much and you guys have seen me probably do so much with mason jars i mean i can't even remember all of the diys that i've done i've done a cupcake in a jar for halloween who remembers that i've decorated lids for christmas for fall for halloween I've done Valentine's Day. I mean, so I've done so much with mason jars. Like, again, like those are the only ones I can think of right now because I just know I've done so many. And of course I'll link them all down below, but each mason jar is a dollar and I love them. I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm gonna do with them next. So stay tuned, but mason jars is number three. Coming in at number two, <sighs> I kind of went back and forth on who was going to be number one and who was going to be number two, but coming in at number two is going to be the silver tray. This tray is everything at Dollar Tree to me. I have done uh, chalkboard trays for 4th of July. I've done it for Halloween, for fall, and for Christmas, I believe. I need to do more. I need more in my life. And so you guys are gonna see some more chalk trays coming soon, but these silver trays at Dollar Tree are just so perfect. The only thing I wish is if Dollar Tree came out with bigger trays of like the square and the rectangle and the oval. Oh my goodness, if they could just come out with like bigger ones, I would be dead. Now, coming in at number one, I have to, cause I have just used these for so many DIYs and that's just simple picture frames. You know, Dollar Tree doesn't have the best quality. They're just a dollar. I sometimes wish we got like thicker, like picture frames, but I also can't complain because girl, they come in every size and every color, but you have seen me do so many different things with picture frames. And if I have to think of the one thing I think I love the most is when I did the reindeer and the plaid framing for Christmas time. Mm, love that DIY so much, but I've also done floral things, so many different things with Dollar Tree picture frames, and I have even more things coming up for DIY, so stay tuned because it's gonna be like farmhouse just exploded on you. But at number one, Dollar Tree picture frames. All right, guys, so that is it for my Dollar Tree top 10 with a bonus DIY staples. I hope that you guys enjoyed this list. I have no idea why I've never thought to like 
do a list like this for you guys. I hope that you feel inspired. I hope that you are loving all of the DIYs I've done in the past. And I have so many that's coming out for Farmhouse, so many coming out for 4th of July. So stay tuned, click subscribe, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Bye.